Great videos. So you are using MQTT to bring all the information to UNS. The answer is not necessarily, but that's the goal. Okay, we, 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 may, we may aggregate namespaces across many protocols and standards, but once we're ready to transmit that namespace that we've created somewhere else in the organization, we're always using MQTT. Um, and you are then structuring your data following ISA 95 part two. Let's say you were using MQTT distributor as your broker, okay? It could be any broker I know. Then when you are publishing for example, data from the ERP system, would you need to subscribe to that data, merge it into the data structure following ISA 95 part two, and then publish that whole structure again, right? Yes, it depends on the use case, but that happens more to more times than not. Since with MQTT Spark Plug B, you can only have group ID, edge node ID, and device ID, you can't directly translate that to ISA 95 part two. You can, um, assuming that your asset structure uh, is at meets at the meets at the line level. Okay, the asset is at the line, which is why you would need to do that intermediate step in order to structure all data within the UNS. Is this correct? Or am I missing it? Something. So, Matthias, the answer is it can be correct. It's not always correct. Uh, thanks. When I was looking into this months ago, I saw a couple of other standards growing. Names escaped me, but they felt untested. And ISI was the big dog. Just checking things haven't changed. Yeah, Richard, I I, I find it hard to believe. I mean. ISA 95 part one is, is really moot. Like if you look, part one is really the standard upon which the Purdue security model is built. You know, anybody who takes a look at where um, industrial infrastructure is going realizes that Purdue is going to be, is going to be obsolete. Um, I mean, even the architects that I went at, went at it with last week, <laughs> agree with that, that once we're fully edge driven, there's no need to go with multiple layers of security to protect infrastructure on the plant floor, especially if the device out on the plant floor is the one that's instantiating the connection outward, right? That's a fundamental difference between industry 3.0 and 4.0. So ISA 95 part one was all about how to, you know, how to structure the business vertically, the infrastructure vertically. ISA 95 part two is how to structure it horizontally. ISA 95 part two, I just don't see that going anywhere because it's effective. Does it need to be expanded? It absolutely does need to be expanded. Like for example, people will ask if ISA 95 part two says you structure your business, enterprise site area line cell, where's, where does the business unit go? Well, the answer is the business unit is an attribute of site. Every site is a, is a member of a business unit. So underneath site is a, property called business unit or attribute called business unit with a, a definition.